Joining us on Skype today is Dr. Whitney Bow, and she's going to explain how our nails are a good way to tell us what's going on with our health. So, Dr. Bow, tell us why are our nails a good forecaster for determining what's going on with our bodies? Yeah, nails are great for providing clues to our overall health because nail growth is actually very sensitive to things like nutrition, um, stress levels, mm -hmm. and even sort of internal diseases. So what are some physical symptoms that would be cause for concern? Well, probably the most important thing to look for would be brown or black bands mm -hmm. that actually run up and down the nail plate. That's definitely uh, a, a cause for concern. Okay, so I'm wearing nail polish right now, but I know before I put them on, I didn't see any bands or anything like that. But what kind of symptoms are those cause for concern? That's a great point because I think a lot of people, especially this time of year, are wearing manis and pedis and they actually don't even bother to sort of look down and see in between when the polish is being taken off and put back on if there's any brown streaks. So that's a very important thing to do, you know, this time of year, even if you're in the salon, you know, put the magazine aside mm -hmm. and just take a peek and make sure you don't see any kind of pigment irregularities. Um, if you do see a band that's developed, um, it can be something as simple as a mole that actually just lives in sort of the base of the nail. Um, it can also just be hereditary or genetic. They can run in families, especially people with skin of color, uh, um, your sort of African-American heritage, um, Japanese Indian families mm -hmm. can actually have these dark streaks in multiple different fingers or toenails. However, uh, the brown streak can also be a, a sign of a melanoma, which can be fatal if it's not caught early. Okay, so those are two really different things, something that's hereditary and then something that is cancerous. So how do we tell the difference exactly. between the two? Well, one of the warning signs would be if the band is new um, or if it's changing, changing in size, changing in color. Um, and also if the pigment actually bleeds from the nail plate onto the cuticle or the surrounding skin. That's a sign called Hutchinson's sign, and that can also be uh, a sign that's concerning. Now, is that something that could be painful? Most of the time, it's not. Okay. Uh, most of the time, it's completely what's called asymptomatic, mm -hmm. meaning that if you don't actually take the time to look at your nails, you wouldn't even notice that it's there. So this brings up a question. So then do doctors such as yourself, do you get a little annoyed with hypochondriacs that come in for the smallest of concerns or are you happy that people are coming in and actually, you know, I'd rather them. people check it out. And that's an opportunity for me to just educate them too. You know, for things that may be, you know, benign or small concerns, that's the opportunity for me to say, hey, these are the things you're looking out for. You're looking out for things that are changing. You know, evolution is a cause for concern. Multiple colors, blue, black, red. If something suddenly bleeds, if it itches, you know, those are all things to look for. But I can explain that to patients and I can show them pictures of things that they should be looking out for. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Bo, for all that helpful information. And remember, this program is intended for general education and informational purposes only so if you have a question about your own health please seek advice from a personal physician hop on twitter to leave your questions for dr bow using hashtag own show